Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to take you through how to set up the app that allows you to control your system from your phone. So you've got a working S Pro CCTV system and now you need to know how you can view the footage remotely from a phone. It's actually incredibly easy. Within the recorder menu, if you go to network, P2P, you'll find a screen with a couple of QR codes on it. Make sure P2P is enabled and that it says online here. If you don't already have the app, you can use the QR code on the left to download it. Once the app is downloaded, open it and you'll be greeted with this screen. To add your security system to this app, push the plus icon in the top right hand corner and then push scan. You'll then be at this screen, which you'll use to scan the second QR code on the right hand side. Then push next and the next screen will ask you what type of device we're adding. We're going to be adding an NVR. You can name the device here, so we'll just call this demo for now. You'll need to also enter a username and password on the same page. This will be the password you've already defined during your system's initial setup. Press save. And this is the live view where you'll be able to see the cameras on your system. If I double tap a camera, you can look specifically at that camera's footage. Double tap once more to take you back again. Below this, you'll see a series of tools. The first allows you to pause and play. The next one will allow you to switch between HD and SD quality. The third will allow you to toggle the camera's audio on and off. And you can change the view by pushing this button here and it will go from displaying four to nine to 16 cameras. And the last one presents a horizontal view. If we push back to move out of that view and go back to the live view, if you've got multiple sites you want to view remotely, you can select which system you want to view here. And if we go back, when you want to play back some footage from any of these cameras, push the playback button here. I can pick the date I need and also the type of recording. Push OK and then I can use the timeline which runs from midnight to midnight to specify the time I wish to play back. You might decide you want to make a short clip of some footage. That can easily be done by clicking the scissors icon and then play to start the clip. And then if you hit stop, it will ask you if you're sure you want to download, push OK and it will download the clip. If we then push back and go to home and then file, that's where you'll find our saved video clip. If you hold down on the clip for a second, uh, you'll select it and we'll then have the option to share it, save it or delete it. If I show you one more thing, if we go back and home again and push the three dots next to the system and then device details, you can set what events you want to be notified of. Press notification and make sure it's toggled on if not already. And here you can select when you want to be notified of certain events. Uh, so we'll leave the time as being 24 seven and we wanna be notified of intrusion alarms, for example, on this camera. Go back, hit save and you're done. As you can see, the app for remote viewing is just as easy to use as the rest of the products in the S Pro range. Thanks for watching and please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S Pro.